This video discusses projects with a sustainable or environmental focus. It covers the material in Chapter 8 of the set book. Engineers must be sensitive to the impact of their designs on the future of the planet. The triple bottom line is one way of addressing the economic, social, environmental aspects of a design. Engineers should not compromise future generations but enhance resources and the quality of life. In the last few centuries, many disasters, errors, or mistakes have been made, such as the DDT that you see in front of you. When wider aspects of technology have been ignored. As a result, regulations and legislation is in place to minimize future damage to the planet. Here is a diagram to show the development of sustainable policies from the 1970s to the present day. What is sustainable engineering? Well, sustainable engineering minimizes pollution and waste and you will touch on much of this with your Engineers Without Borders project. The world is gradually engaging a sustainable culture as the decades proceed. Here is a small list of measures. Remember this list when designing your Engineers Without Borders project or preparing the report. Consider future generations and the quality of life when designing your projects. Promoting equity makes sure that populations all benefit from their basic requirements. Now here you see a blend of economy, society and environment. And you can see how you get an interesting mix when considering technical options. The triple, the triple bottom line analysis, TBLA, addresses economic sustainability. Firstly, the environment. And this is useful for your Engineers Without Borders project. Here we discuss social and economic factors. Typical indicators of TBLA. And we take into account global factors like renewable and non-renewable resources. This illustrates the complexity of this global problem. Environmental impact assessment is a tool that is used for monitoring ecosystem health. The impact measures the effects on the ecosystems in the various chemical and engineering areas. EIA can be one-off or it can be ongoing. The intensity of resources should be addressed together with the ecological footprint. Here are some strategies for reducing the environmental impact. Substitute alternative materials. Conserve by using less materials. Reuse or recycle materials reprocess materials and 
redress the impact. And the country is well aware of these as we've experienced in the last decade. Life cycle assessment follows processes from, as they say, cradle to grave. Here's an exercise taken from the lecture notes. So consult your notes and carry out this exercise. What resources and emissions are involved in these steps? Life cycle assessment, LCA, is becoming more evident, but it costs money and it involves some guesswork. It does have limitations too. So, here's a bottle of beer. This shows that 400 kilogram of CO2 per kilogram, that is 500 grams in a 500 gram glass equals a bottle of beer. Now how does the LCA influence this, the life cycle assessment? There's an exercise to do. Many companies now involve communities in the social impacts of their work and in their annual reports. So here's an extract from uh, an annual report referring to the Code of Ethics, which was discussed in this course a few weeks ago. The do no harm ethic has become very important. Here is the social ladder. This is what people's expectations going from the basic hunger and thirst up to creative art. So to maintain this, we have to be aware of the sustainability around us. Community cons consultation is vital with new projects. And we've already talked about cost-benefit analysis and what that involves with the price put on life. Now, if the sum of all these values is positive, then we could say the project could proceed. If negative, it should not proceed. So the drawbacks of cost-benefit analysis. We've already said that we cannot put dollar values on some environmental impacts. We don't know what discount rate to use. Social inequity is enormous. Thank you for your attention.